Madam Governor Peter Yama says some of the offenses are related to misappropriation of funds amounting to millions of kina. He said a lot of public servants are likely to be arrested and charged on a lot of charges. And there's also likelihood of a conspiracy to defraud state funds. So there's a lot of uh, area of uh, areas of uh, you know charges likely to be given to a lot of people. So there are public servants and people in the system, and all the contractors who had job uh, got the money and uh, they walked away. They have not done the job. So it's like not one person is doing it. It's both parties agree to do what they have done. And if the contractor has done the job. And if there was a shortfall or it was a variation in the contract, uh, that is understandable. And uh, you know, if the government did not favor the balance of the amount of the money, but this is not the case. You see, you just pay them the money in full amount, and they've got the money and they haven't provided the service. So it's it's clearly you know it's fraud. The governor says and, the uh, investigation would also reveal other persons involved in misusing hundreds of thousands of provincial government money saying this is money clearly allocated for contract funding and are not supposed to be cashed out. Mr. Yama says there are a number of people involved in these offenses and they will be identified and dealt with by law. Police are continuing investigation. Uh, you know, it's, uh, police will uh, look into those. And I'm not a, I can't speak for them. But from what I have with the report before me, from the Loma, Loma and attorney and uh, from the audit people. It's very serious. They are serious. And, uh... The governor's remarks followed the arrest of three former public servants in Medeng a week ago. The three are former provincial administrator Daniel Aloy, provincial finance director Dick Moiga, and the provincial legal officer Godwin Haumu. They were arrested and charged over two counts for misappropriating 400,000 kina and official corruption. They appeared for their first mention at the Medeng District Court last Thursday. Martha Lewis, National MTV News, Medeng.